What's good YouTube? It's your boy here, First Time Auto, coming at you with another video. Uh, today we are experimenting with a 2015 Nissan Sentra. I'm going to try to switch the rear brake drums um, on this bad boy. So, um, don't know too much about it, but uh, like any car, we're going to have to take off these wheels. First thing you want to do is crack these lugs while they're on the ground so that you can turn them before you lift them. Um, some cars you're going to be able to lift just both cars the or both tires at the same time. Um, I'm not seeing a really good spot right under the back, so we'll just go ahead and lift each side one at a time. Um, but we're going to crack the lug nuts on each side first. It's going to take some muscle to pull some of these lug nuts off. You can see this guy struggling right here. This is more than all of his power. <laughs> but you definitely want to crack the lugs while the tires are on the ground. Um, if, because if you pick them up in the air, they're just going to be spinning. And once the car is lifted, you can go ahead and remove the rear tires. If you have some difficulty pulling the drums off, um, you can bang it a little bit um, to see if that loosens it up. Um, don't bang it too hard though, if it doesn't do it. Um, if this one had a little difficulty, we had a little difficulty ourselves. The thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and get these, um, that's going to be completely out of focus, but they're uh, metric eights um, bolts. And then with the bolts, you can actually slip them uh, right through here and pull that one off. So we'll try to do that and uh, we get these removed. All right, once you got that brake drum off, which was uh, not easy, uh, just stay with that. Um, but once you get that off, now you can reach the brake pads. Um, you're just going to want to loosen uh, the tensioner so that you can get these brake pads removed. Remove these two clips on both sides. So that was a little bit of a pain pulling the brakes off, or the brake pads off. We're going to try to... Um, get the video on the other side just because it was uh, a few steps so that's what this is going to look like. Okay first thing we're going to do once you have the uh, drums off is we're going to remove these uh, small clips. Um, you can do that with uh, some pliers or flathead um, but you want to go ahead and pull remove those. Uh, from there, then you want to go ahead and remove the springs. There's going to be a spring on the top and a spring on the bottom. All right, once you have the springs removed, you can remove these brake pads, but the bottom pad is going to be um, connected to the brake line. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and uh, use vice grips, pull the uh, line so that you can get it off of this little hook right here. You just want to pull this out and get this off. Yeah, Okay, once you have everything removed, you can start putting back on the brake pads. Um, honestly, this is the trickiest part that we've been running into. Um, so if you're out there, if you have any uh, tips or advice, please let us know in the comments below. Um, but the easiest way that we've seen is just go ahead and grab uh, the end of the brake line with some vice grips or some kind of pliers. Um, and then just kind of work the... Um, little hook into the end of the line and then just go ahead and squeeze it on from there. And once you yank that underneath you can kind of wiggle it and pull um, the hook back on the line. Alright, once you've got the, uh, that hooked up you're going to take this uh, little break or the piece in between um, and go ahead and line it up with those notches and get both sides of the brake pads um, connected to that and then you can attach the springs. And once you get the top screw in, you can go ahead and get the bottom screw in. Make sure that you have um, these little side bolts um, that come in through the back uh, that they're lined up as well. With the side uh, bolts lined up, you can put those clamps in. Um, then you can get the bottom spring on. Uh, once the bottom spring's on, you're all set. You can go ahead and put the tires back on. And hopefully, uh, well, they are rolling down the street. Brakes working. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching this video. Uh, that is a 2015 Nissan Sentra back drums and brake pads. Um, leave your comments below. Uh, any big mistakes that we might have had or any tips that you might have for us, let us know. Definitely have more videos coming for you soon. And until then, keep turning those wrenches. Thanks a lot, guys.